lovelies welcome back to east of eden natural tv i think i like that name and i might keep it i don't know but hey if you don't know who i am my name is raquel and i am the owner um of east of eden natural where we create natural hair care products and we are the home of the famous best-selling anti-breakage growth butter our hair growth butter is so amazing we have sold it all around the world and we are so happy to be here on youtube to um expand upon our reach and we just want to say thank you guys so much if you have already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing and today we'll, we're going to be talking about protective hairstyle we're not i'm gonna try to keep this video super short i promise y'all um but we're gonna be talking about protective hairstyle if you love a protective hairstyle go ahead comment down below your favorite protective hairstyle and what you love to put in or like the video hit a thumbs up subscribe um but i love protective hairstyle i love wigs i don't usually do braids because i can't sit down for that long but i love me a good wig and um in order to um have a protective style where your hair will thrive it has to be done correctly so today i'm going to be talking about the four mistakes that you may be making with your protective hairstyle that is actually hurting your hair health and your hair progress um and we believe in creating products that will help your hair thrive and grow and flourish so it's very counterproductive if you're not doing um you're using the product but you're not using um doing your hair in a way that will help your hair thrive so protect the the purpose of a protective hairstyle is so that your hair will get a break from manipulation so it, it's kind of like a resting period to help your hair continue to thrive without having to manipulate it every day so it's kind of like a resting period for your hair and your curls um and the first thing i will say is you're probably if you're if you're doing this um, the mistake number one is you're leaving your hair, your protective styles in too long. So when you're leaving your protective style in, debris um, could collect dirt and dust and you're not able to really get to your hair and that will cause tangles. Um, when you're taking that out, the dirt will get into your hair follicles and it will cause it to tangle and to mat up. So you don't want that. And that's a big mistake because when you go to comb out your hair, there will be clumps and clumps and clumps and clumps of hair because it matted and it's hard to detangle. So you don't want to keep your protective style in. I will say a rule of thumb is don't keep it more than four weeks. Um because you do want to be able to detangle your hair after you take out your protective style because they will be dead hair and you want to be able to detangle that dead hair um out correctly okay the second thing you um that you may be doing wrong with your protective style is your protective style may be too tight if you notice that your hairline is uh, receding and your hair is like super tight or you can you know when your hair is tight when you're stylist or you do it and you're like ow that hurts you let them know, hey, that is too tight. Let's go ahead and do it over. But we have to speak up. You know, sometimes it's kind of hard to speak up if someone else is doing it. And you're not that confident to just let them know, hey, what's going on. But you um, are essentially damaging your hair follicles when your protective style is too tight. And you can be actually damaging um, your hair follicles from it to grow and thrive. So you don't want to do that. That can lead to traction alopecia. We don't want that, okay? So keep your hair, your protective styles, not, I wouldn't say loose, but keep it comfortable so that your scalp and your hair can thrive, okay? <laughs> the third mistake you're probably making is you're not adding moisture in your hair before, after, or during your protective style. We will go more into how to add moisture on in your um on your hair during a protective style. It could be different because everyone's protective style is different depending on what you're doing to your hair. But it's very important that you are um, layering the groundwork um, for your protective style. For example, I like wigs. So what I do is probably twist or braid my hair underneath my wigs and I will apply the anti-breakage growth butter on before because listen, this will seal in the moisture in your hair and keep it moist for 
weeks. I promise you, it will keep your hair moist for weeks. So this right here is a game changer when it comes to moisture and your protective style. And during your protective style, you definitely want to continue to oil your scalp. You probably want to spray your hair with our hydrating curl mist, and that will help feed your hair of moisture, the moisture that it needs during your protective style. Again, remember, you're not keeping in your protective style for a long time. So you want to make sure that you're that the moisture is kept in for the the little amount of time that you have your protective style in okay and a number four the fourth mistake you're probably making is you're not washing your hair before a protective style and you may be like hey who's not washing their hair before before protective style sis there they, there probably is someone that's out there that's not doing it you want to make sure that your hair you are layering the groundwork for your hair the foundation for your protective style on a clean scalp remember a clean scalp flourishes so you want to wash your hair you want to deep condition it because you want to make sure that your hair has everything the nutrients the moisture that it needs to last throughout your protective style so you want to make sure that you're um treating your hair your deep treat um uh, your um deep conditioning and you're washing your scalp and you're making sure that the foundation of your protective style is going to flourish okay I promise to keep this video very short so those are the four mistakes that you are probably making with your protective style so make sure that we are doing the opposite of all the things that we explained today and if you have any questions definitely go ahead and leave it down below and if you would love to try our anti-breakage growth butter head over to ecbdnatural.com the link will be down below um where you can get it and don't forget to sign up for our email list where you can save 10 percent off on your next purchase again my name is raquel and you guys be blessed until next time. Love you guys. Bye.